and today is all about fish, flying fish. I'm going to share with you how to scale, clean, and debone flying fish before we get it ready for cooking. Now, I'm a modern girl, and usually when I go to the fish market, I always buy my fish already prepared, already scaled, cleaned, and deboned. But I still think it's important to know how to do it. So there's some of you out there who I am sure you've never boned a fish. Now, I challenge you to bone a fish today. So let's get started. Now, this is a messy job. So be prepared to get yourself all dirty, smell all fishy, have scales all over the place. But to make it easier, I like to have a nice setup. So here we have our fish. Now to scale the fish, we're gonna remove the fins, the two fins closest to the head and the two fins closest to the tail. Now we're gonna turn the fish upside down and with some small quick strokes, we're gonna remove all of the scales. Now a sharp knife is perfect for this, but be careful, we don't want you to cut yourself. We're gonna remove all of the scales from all around the fish until it is nice and smooth. Now I like to have a lot of bowls. We have one bowl to keep the guts that we call are the melts for the fish, one bowl of water. I usually use two cutting boards, one that I use to clean the fish when I cut it, on the, cut it open, one that I use to bone the fish, and then a bowl to keep everything in. Now it's important to have a really sharp knife. If you have a knife and it isn't sharp, you're gonna end up sawing the fish and we don't want to do that. You want to be able to use one stroke and cut right down the center of the fish. So you need to have a really sharp knife. So let's get started. Now we'll have the fish laying on its back and with our knife, we're gonna take one clean, sharp cut right down the center of the fish from the head straight down to the tail. Then we are gonna open the fish up and I'll first go for the head. We're gonna remove all of the carcass from the top. It's gonna to be red, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be smelly, but you're gonna grab it as much as you can and we're gonna pull it because everything is gonna be connected from here. So once you pull the carcass out, everything will be coming along with it, which would be what the fish ate for the day, the melts, the roe, everything we're gonna pull all of that out and then we're gonna proceed to just wash all of the remnants out to make the fish as clean as possible before we start to debone it. This is the last one. We're gonna remove the carcass from the top. Gonna to get rid of all of the excess gut from the inside. We're gonna put this to soak. And just to show you, these are the melts I would have gotten from the tan fish that we did this morning. And once these are fried, seasoned and fried, these taste so delicious. Now we're gonna get ready to debone our fish or bone the fish as we say here in Barbados. Now I would have removed the fish from the water and I have the fish in another bowl. If you keep the fish soaking in the water, it's gonna make the fish too soft and then it becomes difficult to remove the bones because the, the flesh is really too soft. So now the first thing we're gonna do is to remove this white I don't even know what you call it, but remove this white part that is in the head. Some people like to use the head to eat. So just in case you do, we're gonna remove this. This has to come out. It's just a small little white thing, but that is not edible. So we're gonna remove that. We're gonna put that here. Now we're gonna go along the, take our knife and run it along the sides of the vertebrae, the main vertebrae of the fish. You're gonna go as close as possible to this bone because we want to just get the bone out. We wanna save as much flesh as possible. So we're gonna go as close as possible to the side of this main bone all the way down like that. Then I'll turn it the other way. There are these fins on the inside. We need to get this off as well. So we always start by cutting that and then we'll go continue along this side, the other side of the vertebrae, all the way up. If you get some resistance, just keep going. 
and the fish should be able to lay flat on a surface. So once we've done that, we need to remove the side bones. Right here at the side, you will see some fine bones. You need to remove these bones from both sides of the fish. And then we're gonna remove the sides from the middle. Flying fish is a delicacy here in Barbados. It's actually part of our national dish, flying fish and cuckoo. And when we get flying fish, oh man, there are so many things that we can use it for. You can have it fried, you can have it steamed, you can have it stuffed, you can have it with the head or you can have it without the head. I'll show you how to use both methods. So once we would have done that, we also need to remove this. At the side, we just cut it off just to make it nice and neat. So we'll cut it at the side here as well. must be careful with your fish being soft. If your fish is soft, it'll look like you're butchering it. Once we would have done that, you will see there are one more set of bones along the sides of the fish. Now we need to remove those as well. And once again, you go as close as possible to those bones because you want to get the bones and you want to keep the flesh. So once I remove those bones, like this this is also perfect when you're seasoning fish because once i would have removed these bones from here it leaves a space and when you're seasoning the fish you can run your seasoning right along that space then we're going to remove the bones from this side as well just so we're even and then we are almost done we're going to remove these last set of bones. And then this one is done. You actually call this fish in the jacket. If you have, just make sure there is no, right here by the fin, this little white part, you always see it, you need to remove that as well. So now the fish from the side, the bones from the side are gone. The bones right along the the center of each half, they're gone. And that white sinewy piece from the head, that is gone. Now the fish becomes edible. Now you call this one fish in a jacket. Now I'll show you how you can remove the head and just get a fillet of fish. We're gonna cut below here and we're gonna cut here as well. Make sure both sides are cut. And then we're going to just pass the knife over the back of the fish. Now, if done correctly, you should be able to pull the head and the vertebrae right out. But that doesn't always happen. It hardly ever happens with me. We're going to go right down the side of the vertebrae as close as possible to the main bone because we want to just get the bone and not the flesh on both sides as close as possible. You can actually hear the bones as it's cracking against the sharpness of the knife. Remember, you must have a really sharp knife if you want to be able to debone your fish. All the way down. So now you see you have, you can see the bone easily. Now sometimes you just take it, rip the head off, if it fails, you rip it off. Otherwise, you're supposed to get the head of the vertebrae and pull it all the way down like this. And then we will just cut this end off. Like that. So now that we, we have removed the head and the tail, we're going to remove all of the side bones. All the way down. I hate to have bones in my fish. We're going to remove all of the bones. Be very careful with it. 
because the fish can be very, very soft at this point because it would have been off ice for a little bit and it's gonna get soft and it'll tear easily. So just be very gentle with it. We don't want it to look too mangled. But if it looks mangled for the first, we understand. By the time you get to your 10th fish, you should be getting much better. I always say the first couple of fish that I would have done, it looks like it was in a dog's mouth, but you can still eat it. It just looks all mangled. Now we're gonna remove the bones along the side. All the way down these fine bones, little pin bones. Now if you leave them in the food, they can cause some problems. So we're gonna remove the bones all the way down. On both sides. And the pin bones on this side as well. All the way down. I absolutely love flying fish. There are so many things, like I said, that you can do with it. So once we have this done, of course our fish is a little soft. When you're seasoning the fish, you know you run your seasoning along this side, this side, and in the center of the bone. Our task of scaling, cleaning, and deboning flying fish is now done. Remember, there are two ways you can have the flying fish with the head, and it still has the central bone in it. Of course, when you fry this, this is really good. Or you can have it without the head, just like this. Now, I challenge you to go ahead and try to bone a fish today. And if there is something that I did that is different from the way you did it, I encourage you to Put it in a comment section and let me know how you debone your fish. Flying fish? Now you need to try it.